just look, it does look better. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Oh. oh, awesome. I know. <laughs> See, so. yeah. How do you let nature and sounds around nature influence your dancing? <laughs> I do very much. I find um, almost all of my inspiration from the natural world, actually. Um, animals and plants, water and sound of the wind, clouds and formations, stars. Those are the things that I dance actually yeah um, very much so I take you know technique from humans from my teachers and and the like but uh, the earth and the universe and the natural world are what pull me to want to create art mm. just mimicking those patterns the spirals and the circles and the incredible branching structures of trees mm. Those things move me. I took your workshop. I'm here with Grace Constantine at Tribal Fest. And I took your workshop today on story belly and storytelling. And you moved us through um, imagining different forms and um, story aspects that could help kind of loosen us up, I think. Mm -hmm. And you have a very calm voice and was able to lead us almost into a movement meditation um, yeah. where if you let go, then you can really explore and um, experience and allow the, the story to inform your movement, um, which was, it's very freeing and not having yeah. to keep it into your mind of, you know, okay, doing this little, you know, Am I getting this perfectly right? And yes. um, it's it's not about necessarily getting it right. It's about how your body is is moving. Yes. With that story. Yes. And one of the reasons I that has come to me so often is because uh, the trend has been, you know, in teachings and in classes and in the belly dance world has been so technique and choreography driven that there is um, a lot of skill within mm -hmm. that you know to be had and that's out there right now with you know lots of drilling and, and doing the techniques until it's you know so deep in your body that you can do it with true conviction and wonderful muscle memory but overlaying that if you can have a story and an intention and a purpose mm. uh, for me art is really about the the spirit of it the purpose of it why are you there what is it that you want to communicate? Um, and, you know, being able to bring that kind of, you know, overlaying approach to put along with the technique and the practice in those realms, to put along with the fabulous combinations and choreographies that you accumulate in your years of dance, mm. being able to distill that. And then taking all of that and letting go completely in that moment of performing. Mm -hmm. Just as when, um, if you are uh, pointing an arrow, you have to relax mm -hmm. to make your mark. Mm -hmm. If you're spinning in a turn, you exhale, you relax into that turn. If you release mm -hmm. and surrender into the performance, when you're there and just be present and not worry as much about all of those things and let the story that you want to tell be the focus, the body goes with it. Mm -hmm. And if your muscle memory is fabulous and you're doing all the practicing, then it turns into a fabulous, fabulous dance full of all those amazing motions mm -hmm. that you're also practicing. Yeah. And that makes it just a whole nother level. It gives you more layers, mm -hmm. more layers to represent. And your solos are improv, Yes, yes. My solo work is um, entirely in improvised. Mm -hmm. um, I make stories, usually poems, um, to start with, mm -hmm. which sometimes I write down, but very often I don't. Mm. I just hold them in my mind. Um, 
and uh, add, you know, I find um, an image or a character, an animal, something that just grabs me in that moment. And then I add, as I was speaking of in the workshop, I add, you know, who is she or he? Who, what is, who is this creature? You know, the who. And then where are you in this? Mm. You know, where is this character? Where is this person? It can be you, your deepest soul. Mm -hmm. It can be something, uh, perhaps a reincarnation of yourself, a bit of your spirit that's floating somewhere on the other side of the world swimming with a sea turtle. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, anything like that. But uh, it's, you know, who and the where and then what are you doing and what are your goals? What are you trying to do? And those are the things that I add and that's what gives me a story from beginning to end and that's what makes my performance a uh, complete uh, picture. Um, but it always begins from the seed of, of that world that spirit or that character that's mm -hmm. there. Thank you so much for yeah. talking with me in Thank this you. very hot but <laughs> kind warm of and wonderful. delicious sun as well. <laughs> kind of amazing. Tell you. <laughs>